Negev Desert Bedouin are semi-nomadic traditionally, raising goats, sheep and camels. But restricted access to grazing lands and the forced shift to sedentary lifestyles has meant a change in the amounts and kinds of waste that accumulate in Bedouin settlements. About half the 200,000 Bedouin residents of Israel's Negev live in unrecognized settlements, without sewage systems, with no way to effectively treat human and animal waste products. Dumping and burning of livestock waste is now prevalent in these Bedouin communities. Large piles of manure and straw found next to homes along roadsides and in river valleys attract pests and snakes. Although the village of Umbatim was officially recognized a year and a half ago, there is still no garbage collection. This above-ground waste and lack of sanitary conditions leads to high rates of urinary tract and respiratory infections, mainly among women and children. Ilana Me'alem spent six months here in Umbatim researching the solid waste disposal practices in the village. As part of her MA degree in the joint program of Ben-Gurion University of the Negev and the Arava Institute, Ilana identified severe environmental health hazards. Wastes are usually disposed of by backyard burning. The smoldering sites are located very close to homes where children play. Burning these wastes produces harmful chemicals. The toxic pollutants can cause serious health problems. The outcome of my research, this pioneering study into the issues and the daily lives um, um, of the villagers and their relations with the waste showed that it was the women that are most exposed to um, waste-related hazards. Bedouin women are the ones dealing with wastes, but they are unaware of the hazards. The fires can smolder for weeks, releasing a thick smoke which is dangerous to inhale. Children often step on still smoldering piles and are severely burnt. Three-year-old Suleiman is the latest burn case in this village. Uh, Suleiman, Suleiman was playing here. We thought the fire was out. His brother pushed him and he fell into the pit and was burned badly on his feet and hand. It's to prevent all this that Ilana Me'alem and her co-researcher Mazem Zoabi are working on developing a biogas system which will be suitable for the Bedouin community. Biogas digesters produce methane gas from animal or human waste products. This gas can be used for cooking, heating, light, or to run small generators. The use of household biogas digesters is widespread in China, where Ilana and Mazem were trained in their use. Mazen is carrying out his research at BGU's microbiology department of the Blaustein Institutes for Desert Research. My hope and uh, our vision is uh, first of all to produce uh, energy uh, to the Bedouin communities. Second of all is to spread this technology around the Negev uh, for as many as possible uh, Bedouin households. And third of all is the, the, the public health aspect which uh, if we, if we use uh, biogas uh, reactors, uh, we can reduce the, the amount of uh, injuries uh, among Bedouin uh, children and uh, women health. One aspect of Ilana and Mazen's biogas digester project has been adopted by BGU's Center for Women's Health Studies and Promotion. The reason that it's a women's health problem is that the women stay in the villages and don't go out, of, out to work like men do. And therefore they have these health problems that are related to environmental exposures that men don't have. Um, so that's why we see it as a women's health issue. Julie Zwickel hopes to develop a model for small business projects for women based on the biogas model, giving them a resource and option they didn't have before. Our hope, along with developing alternative energy through using biogas, is to actually develop um, and train women environmental health activists um, that can then go out into the villages and raise awareness, uh, raise awareness as to the hazards, the daily hazards that um, women are being exposed to. And our great hope is that at least until municipal services are provided, until nobody needs to be burning rubbish at all, it's the women that are living um, and confined mostly to the compounds, it's the women that are exposed to the toxins that are released from the backyard barrels. 
Um, and so it's the women that will really be the agents of change. The biogas model has been proven successful in other rural areas around the world. Now Israeli researchers are working to adapt it to the local conditions of Bedouin culture.